Hey there, it's Joseph, and welcome back to the YouTube channel dedicated to the San Miguel de Allende secrets. And today we're going to discuss whatever happened to the Frito Bandito. And here he is with this his infamous theme song from back in the 60s and 70s on, for Fritos commercials. As always, if you need more information, feel free to click any of the links in the descriptive box below, including one to Amazon.com that'll take you to all the best-selling books for sale in the San Miguel de Allende Secrets book series. In an effort of full disclosure, I must confess up front, I adore Frito Scoops. It's my first purchase when I return to the U.S. for a visit, as they are hard to find here. Pictured here, I took my first selfie, being oddly excited to end a long day of travel with some scoops when asked on social media what I most was looking forward to on that trip. Part of why I like Fritos is when I was a single parent hosting movie nights, the kids forbid me to buy scoops insisting they made my breath, quote, smell like piss. They are grown and gone now so I can be pissy. If, like me, you can remember any of the 60s or 70s, You'll recall the Frito Bandito in a signature song about stealing Frito chips. He was hugely popular, and I recall in kindergarten, all the cool kids had the Frito Bandito erasers on their pencils, like pictured here. By the 1960s, Fritos had been around for three decades, but still struggled with creating a place in every American's collective memory or hearts. Fritos combined a catchy slogan, colorful packaging, a clever jingle based on the ever-popular song Solito Lindo, and a cartoon character to create a marketing juggernaut, the Frito Bandito. Using the same animator that created Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck, along with the same voice actor that brought to life Speedy Gonzalez and Porky Pig, the Frito Bandito was bound to get noticed. The Frito Bandito was designed after the visual image of a Pancho Villa-like revolutionary, wearing a handlebar mustache and speaking in a thick accent, while robbing folks of their chips at gunpoint. Suffice to say, not every Mexican-American advocacy group cottoned to this image and began to publicly balk. Frida responded by removing the Frida Bandito's gold tooth and stubble. National tragedy made them go farther and get rid of his guns after the Robert Kennedy assassination. Beyond that, Frida wanted to keep the mega-popular Frida Bandito up and running, especially after conducting a survey that found 85% of Mexican-Americans actually liked the Frida Bandito. So, Frito stood by their bandito. The Frito Bandito was originally featured in commercials which aired during children's television shows. But due to the character's popularity, Frito soon began using the bandito in all print and television advertising. In the print ads, like the one seen here to the left, the Frito Bandito was on a wanted poster with a mugshot. The ads warned children to protect themselves from the Frito Bandito in this nefarious corn chip stealing ways. In commercials, the Frito Bandito claimed the Frito's Bureau of Investigation, FBI, get it, is after him. Somehow this approach sold a lot of corn chips in the late 60s and early 70s. Kids or their parents instantly related to a bandit in cartoon form. Ultimately, Frito Bandito was the mascot from 1967 to only 1970 due to increased pressure from Mexican-American advocacy groups forcing local stations to not air the ads. Ironically, Frito's ads with the Frito Bandito took a Mexican corn chip recipe and turned it into an American icon, now featuring several types of Mexican flavors while being served with a bean dip as an appetizer every Thanksgiving. As always, feel free to click the subscribe now button below and you get automatic notifications of new videos as they appear here on the YouTube channel dedicated to San Miguel de Allende secrets.